Huh. A pressure hatch like the ones you see in submarine movies. Looks old, but isn't rusty yet. Let's see... to see. Oh, it smells like stagnant water and rust. This could be some kind of water storage or tank or something. leads back downwards, but that could be my way to freedom. <sighs> it's not moving. The hatch is very rusty, probably because of the water down here. There's a pair of gloves and a wrench. I'll take them both with me. The people who were living in this bunker seem to have left half of their things behind. There are bottles, boards, crates, pipe fittings, cardboard boxes, all kinds of things. Boards, a broken lamp, and an old-fashioned detonating device. It's for detonating explosives, like the ones they used to use in quarries and mines. You turn the crank handle to build up an electric charge. When you press the button, it fires an igniter cap at the end of the wire. The metal locker must be about 50 years old, like most things here. I'm surprised that everything is kept so well. The thick walls probably keep things preserved. What have we got here? Whoa! A stick of dynamite! Hmm... Does 50-year-old dynamite still work? Or does it work too well and explode in my hands? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Alright then. I'll leave the other stick here for now. I don't want to push my luck. There's a box. Hmm. These are cables with igniters. Presumably for dynamite. I'll take one of the cables with me. Sometimes, the only thing that helps is brute force. <sighs> Alright. I've taped the stick of dynamite on the hatch. If I'm lucky, I can blow a hole in the hatch with it. There's an igniter cap fastened to the end of the cable. I reckon the cable's a good 30 feet long. Carefully. 
As soon as electricity flows through the wire, the igniter caps fire, exploding the stick of dynamite. Hopefully that's enough to blast the hatch open. I'll have to position the stick of dynamite and attach the fuse cable first. Alright, I'll wrap the ends of the two wires around the contacts. The wires connected to the stick of dynamite and the detonator. Everything's ready for the explosion. wanted to do this. a scratch on it. It's ripped the handle clean off, but most of the energy from the explosion has just dissipated. Hmm. If the girder fell down, it would hit the hatch, and one beam, more or less, shouldn't affect its stability. At least I hope it doesn't. Hopefully the second stick is as sound as the first one. Another fuse cable. The dynamite should blast the concrete gutter from the ceiling once and for all. I'll wrap the end of the two wires around the contacts again. <sighs> then let's try again. This time it has to work. Sure enough, it's penetrated the hatch. But there's some kind of pipe down there. It leads downwards. It would be big enough for me, but I can't see where it leads. And I can't squeeze past the piece of concrete. That's a... Uh... No idea what that is. Hmm. It says here that it's a rubber dinghy with a built-in compressed air capsule. You pull the ripcord and the dinghy inflates within seconds. 
Pshh. It must have been the cutting edge of technology back then. Put the chain around the piece of concrete. The metal eyelets on the dinghy. I'll fasten the chain on there. The boat is attached to the chain, which is wrapped around the piece of concrete. That might work. And up it goes. <laughs> <laughs> 